Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Today you see me in a different location. I'm not in the classroom. I'm at the office. And I want to share my personal experience with you about starting a new business. And if you watch this video till the end, I'm pretty sure that it will be very, very useful for you. Do not start a new business before you watch this video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right now so that you can receive more useful videos like this in the future. So generally there, there are two types of businesses in the world. You either sell products or you sell you know, service. It could be any of these two types of business. Follow these steps before starting your new business. Trust me, it's based on my more than 15 years of practical experience in the business world. So the first thing is planning. Uh, make a proper plan, your short-term plans, your uh, mid-term plans, your long-term plans. Uh, you may use PowerPoint and, you know, space, I mean, place everything properly on the slides in case that you don't have any money to invest in your business and you are trying to convince someone else because in the world there are people who are business minded there are people who have the ability to start a business and make it successful and there are people who have a lot of money but they don't have you know any idea how to start a business or how to make it successful so you could be one of those who is business minded who has the ability and the talent to start a business and make it bigger and make it successful, but you may not have money to invest. So that's why I said proper planning so that you can convince someone to invest uh, money in your business. So when you specify the investment, keep in mind that you should manage your investment properly. How? Okay, so how to manage your investment properly? First of all, I want to share this and it's based my, you know, personal experience again, specify, you know, a proper amount for, uh, you know, buying assets and try to, if it's a kind of service business, let's say you want to open a private school or a private university or private, you know, uh, educational center, or for example, there's any other type of, you know, service business. So like proper and high quality assets, because, you know, when the customers come to your office, so it's kind of, you know, um, 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 impressing, you know, when, when, when they see, I mean, the, the quality of the assets that you have at the office. So uh, investing your money also includes uh, the rent. See, you want to rent a building or you want to rent a store, try to pay at least one year rent in advance because later on you won't be, you know, in trouble. For example, your business, it takes time, you know, a business in order to start profit. So if you don't do that later on, you could be in trouble if you spend, you know, if you do not manage your money properly that you want to invest in the business and you spend all of it you know, on buying assets and then you don't have, you know, any budget in the, in the, in the backup or, you know, uh, your business, uh, I mean, takes time to start profit and then, you know, the landlord is coming and asking you for the rent. So at least six months rent, you know, in advance. Uh, so uh, for six months, you don't have to worry about the rent. And uh, specify a good amount of money for marketing because marketing is very, very important. And uh, also you should have uh, a specific amount of money in backup, uh, in the backup in case, you know, there's kind of crisis or for example, you know, uh, you need to, to spend more money on marketing. So manage your uh, investment properly. Then, uh, the third step is choosing a location. It's very important to choose a proper location. So, of course, I mean, whatever you want to sell, whether it's, you know, 
you know, products or this kind of, you know, service. So, you know, you, you, you see the demand in the market first. I mean, that's, that's something, you know, which should be done before everything else. But then location, choosing a proper location where you can target, you know, your customers. Uh, if it's not a proper location, your business could be in a big trouble, you know, later on. And then after you choose a proper location and you rent, uh, you know, a place for business, as soon as you do that, just start your marketing. It's very important. Marketing is very important. The best thing and the cheapest way to do your marketing is uh, printing a lot of brochures. So, and you design it, you know, uh, beautifully and, you know, you put some slogans and, you know, encourage people to, uh, to, to, to come to your, you know, uh, office bef right after you start the business. So um, marketing is very important. You may also make a page on Facebook and, you know, sponsor your advertisements on Facebook. You may, you know, print a lot of brochures. And uh, this is how you let people know that, you know, you start a business and you will be providing, you know, proper service and proper, you know, high quality products if it's, if it's uh, you know, uh, the kind of business that, you know, uh, offers products. So the next thing is quality. You need to focus a lot on the quality, whether it's the kind of product that you're trying to sell, because, you know, everywhere the environment is competitive and there will be definitely other businesses which already exist in that environment. So now you enter the market and uh, you should be somehow different than the others. Uh, your product should be, you know, very, very good. Uh, if it's service, I mean, uh, again, I mean, there should be very, you know, high quality service. Uh, customer satisfaction is the next point that is very important for a business. Why? Because if the customers are satisfied, uh, there will be publicity. Publicity, like word of the mouth. I mean, uh, you don't need to spend a lot of money on marketing once you reach that level. Once, you know, your customers are satisfied and they tell other people how good your business is and how good your service is, trust me, people are already convinced. And when, as soon as they come, they just want to buy your products. So they want to join your, you know, uh, your English academy or your private school, your private university, whatever kind of business there is. So if there is no customer satisfaction, so of course, complaints. You know, they go and they complain about your business to their friends, their relatives, and the demotion starts. So now if there's publicity, there's promotion. And if there's, you know, complaint, you know, there's demotion. So, I also want you to have a proper discount policy. Uh, for example, uh, you know, if it's a kind of selling business, you, know, you should have some sort of products or products that in which you can give, you know, uh, kind of discount to your customers and, and this way they, they could be satisfied, you know. Or if it's kind of service business, you know, you see, like, let's say you, you, you open a private school and there are like five, six, seven people from the same family. So one of them could be free. For example, I'm just saying, oh, for example, you know, uh, your discount policy says that if you got the first position at university or at your school, so here we're giving you this much discount. Or for example, if you get the first position over here, if it's like kind of that kind of business, like it's, it's a private school or private university or private, um, you know, educational center. So you should have a proper discount policy. Uh, so some of your customers could be more satisfied and then they go and they tell other people and they encourage other people. Uh, and this way, uh, you know, your business promotes a lot. And then uh, constancy. I mean, keep the things the way they are, the way you started in the first place. Do not bring, you know, changes. For example, you see that you get a lot of you know customers and you know suddenly quickly uh, you bring changes uh, in the price or for example uh, 
you know, your behavior towards the customers, uh, you know, changes. Uh, just try to keep things the way they are, okay? So constancy is very important. Uh, finally, if you start a small business and you follow these steps and your business becomes bigger and very, very successful, I try not to become arrogant or selfish because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make your business successful, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give you something so he can take it away from you too because uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like selfishness and arrogance. So do not become arrogant or selfish. Try to be more humble towards your customers, towards your employees in the business. And this way, inshallah, you will keep, you know, uh, becoming more and more successful. And uh, I hope that uh, these simple points that I explained to you uh, help you, uh, you know, make your business successful. Uh, have a great time, everybody, and I'm done.